And as I said in the first segment, the opening segment, we are met with unfortunate news that I must get into today here on the show as the big news in the world of professional wrestling should be the upcoming all-in show. Over 80,000 fans in attendance, Wembley Stadium. But we are met with tragedy for the second time this week as on the heels of the death of Terry Fonka life which we can celebrate having passed away at 79 years old having lived a fruitful life a great career in the world of professional wrestling not only in the United States obviously notably in Japan and really a man who transcended the world of professional wrestling in a lot of ways. Yesterday, we were met with the unfortunate news that Wyndham Rotunda, better known as Bray Wyatt, passed away from the pages of WrestlingObserver.com, written by Joseph Courier. Bray Wyatt, one of the most creative pro wrestlers of all time, has passed away at 36 years old. Wyatt's death was announced by Paul Triple H Levesque on Thursday. Levesque wrote that Wyatt's father, Mike Rotunda, had just informed him that Wyatt passed away unexpectedly today. Levesque stated that WWE's thoughts are with R the Rotunda family and asked everyone to respect their privacy. From his post on X just received a call from WWE Hall of Famer Mike Rotunda who informed us of the tragic news that our WWE family member for life Wyndham Rotunda also known as Bray Wyatt unexpectedly passed earlier today Levesque wrote our thoughts are with his family and we ask that everyone respect their privacy at this time Wyatt had been away from the ring since February due to an undisclosed illness Fightful reported earlier this month that the illness was both career and life-threatening, but Wyatt had improved significantly and he was closer to being medically cleared to return to the ring. The report noted that the WWE and Wyatt were being extra cautious regarding his condition and long-term health. And uh, on another update from Fightful, who reported on his passing, uh, Sean Ross Sapp was, uh, wrote, I should say, I was given permission to reveal that earlier this year, Wyndham Rotunda got COVID that exacerbated a heart issue. There was a lot of positive progress towards the return and his recovery. Unfortunately, today he suffered a heart attack and passed away. Wyatt. Best known for playing multiple, multiple memorable characters in the WWE, including his original incarnation of a, I guess you could say, backwoods cult leader. Later on, of course, becoming the fiend, bringing us through multiple travels in the world of the Firefly Funhouse. As I said, a memorable character, but most importantly, Wyatt, Bray Wyatt, Wyndham Rotunda is survived by his four children, his fiance, Josanne Offerman, former ring announcer, and other family, including his father, Mike Rotunda, formerly known as IRS, his mother, Stephanie, brother, Bo Dallas, Taylor Rotunda, and his sister, Micah. Just tragic and not the news that I think anybody had expected to get yesterday afternoon. The WWE has decided to donate all 
of the net proceeds of Bray Wyatt merchandise to his family, which I think is, you know, a great, a great move in their part. There's going to be a lot of people who are looking to buy Bray Wyatt merchandise, looking to support his his surviving family members in any way that they can and uh, the WWE has decided to give all net proceeds of this merchandise to his family like I said just a great outpouring of support coming in already Wyatt was a one-time WWE champion winning the title at Elimination Chamber he outlasted John Cena, The Miz, AJ Styles, Baron Corbin, Dean Ambrose. You look at his career, he wrestled everybody. He wrestled them all. He was a two-time Universal Champion, defeating Seth Rollins at Crown Jewel. And then also later on, defeating Braun Strowman, a former member of his own Wyatt family in 2023. And Bray Wyatt was actually the last holder of the Universal Championship before Roman Reigns began his now record-setting reign, although it was Braun Strowman who was pinned in that matchup. Wyatt was a one-time Raw Tag Team Champion with Matt Hardy, a SmackDown Tag Champ alongside Randy Orton, who was also a member of the Wyatt family at one point, a Tag Team Champion with Luke Harper, of course, a two-time FCW Tag Team Champion with his brother, Bo Rotunda, better known as Bo Dallas. He won the WWE's 2019 Wrestler of the Year Award, twice the Best Gimmick Award in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter in 2013 and 2019. Myself, being a former amateur wrestler, always... Happy to know and to see that one of the top pros also has an amateur wrestling background, a former state champion in the state of Florida for Hernando High School. Bray Wyatt was a, a third generation wrestler, as he said, the son of Mike Rotunda, brother of Bo Dallas, grandson of Black Jack Mulligan, the nephew of Barry and Kendall Windham. First popped up on our screens as part of FCW, he was part of the Nexus for a little bit, went back down to developmental where he reappeared as the leader of the Wyatt family, which it captured my imagination. He was a charismatic cult figure from the swamp. First joined by the aforementioned uh, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, Eventually, Daniel Bryan, Braun Strowman, Randy Orton all found themselves, much like the fans did, under the spell of Bray Wyatt. And he, he played many characters, as I said. The Fiend, Abby the Witch, Ramblin' Rabbit, Huskus the Pig, who was based on his former persona of Husky Harris from NXT, he gave them all to us. He was the new face of fear. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of fans out there who want to follow Bray Wyatt and follow the buzzards. This is a man who, in the eyes of fans who like character work, he had the whole world in his hands. And it's unfortunate that we're not going to get to see more of Bray Wyatt. It's unfortunate that I'm not going to be reading off more championship accolades for a wrestler of his caliber and just a tragic end. Bray Wyatt gone at the age of 36.